I just don't know if we'll make it without our iPhones. I know. And they say some iPhones aren't all iPhones the same. Only, that's, I, I guess there's different variants. Questions. Right. But yeah. Yeah. Different. Still questions. More to come. On. I just remember that when I my phone. I don't know how old it is, but okay. I needed a new one. It was time. sure. And you know the guy was trying to upsell me. I'm like, oh, you need the Max storage. The Max. You take photos. You need this. Yeah. But ah, uh, you know, it's like in a glass case that no one can touch it. Sure. It has all the storage. I'm like, dude, look, my last phone had like eight gigs of storage. <laughs> and, and now like, okay. I, I, there's probably like a lot. It's like, yeah. no, no, no. That's like one photo these days. So uh, yeah. No, so, yeah. back back when we upgraded Morgan's phone, it had to be the, the we had to get her the 128 gig, which I think is standard almost now, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, almost. yeah, it was the most expensive one. And then even when you upgrade an iPhone, it's like, well, nothing really changes. They still look the same, right? It's just, I don't know. Uh, I'm ready to go back to the flip phone. The flip phone? I mean, it's nice to take They're coming out with one. Flip phone yeah. the well, now day. they're coming back. Like, right. they're yeah. The Razor. They're coming out with the Razor again. Right. Everyone had one of those, cool. right? I love yeah. those. That was like one of my favorite phones. <laughs> there were some, I want the foldable one. Well, it's yeah. just like now it seems like there's kind of two, like the Droid and the iPhone. Am I yeah. leaving another one out? Google. Google. Well, What's Droid. That the Droid is Motorola. The You're talking about Android. No, but I'm saying okay. Android. 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 Yeah. Those are operating. There used to be. Remember, like there used to be so many. Like, oh, I have to get this one. Okay, it's called the Google Pixel. Yeah. But remember, like a new phone coming. Like, I gotta get right. that. Now it's it just like, like nope, it there's one or two. Different. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, all right, which upgrade do you want? What, what yeah. was it? The swipe. It kind of like opened the screen. Like it didn't flip open. Yeah. And went, like, oh. And it was really narrow. No, and yeah. 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 And okay. You wonder why these don't make it. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Moving on from iPhones to weather. Maybe you snapped a good picture yesterday with your iPhone of some of the weather happening. Be sure to send it to us. Uh, send them to idahonews.com forward slash chime in. Had this one sent in from George Nelson of Kleiner Park. Yeah, I had a nice rainbow yesterday among uh, some of the showers and thunderstorms that were rolling through the Boise area. So I live in Nampa. I didn't see any thunder or hear any thunder or see any lightning, uh, but certainly had some around the Treasure Valley. So this is in Weezer, a hailstorm that rolled through there. Eduardo Pineta sent in this photo. Uh, so yeah, some of the hailstones about a quarter of an inch in diameter, so pretty significant or decent sized hail. Ch- chance of moisture over the next 12 hours. It's not a huge threat. We've got about a 20 to 30 percent chance heading into the evening of seeing some spotty showers across <clears throat> some of the valley. Most of the activity uh, has moved out of here with a front this morning. So uh, what we can expect moving forward are some spotty showers as we talked about today. A little cooler out there. Uh, about mid 50s for highs today versus the low 60s. Partly cloudy over the weekend. We will see warmer temperatures though back into the 60s uh, near the weekend as well. So we do have a weak storm system, a disturbance that's currently moving through the central and eastern half of the state. Notice still have moisture churning off the coast. That's going to continue to send up spurts of moisture or some of those spotty showers occasionally throughout the day today, even into Friday. I think any activity will be limited to the mountain locations, especially on Friday uh, as we head to the weekend. And uh, d- <laughs> all right, uh, Denny's grabbing a cookie. I thought maybe there was a, a, you know something urgent out there, but no. Uh, just talking about the weather. Extended forecast uh, showing that mid 50s Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday looking to upper 50s if not low 60s on Sunday. Mixture of sun and clouds expected. So we're not going to be uh, blue skies all the way around over the weekend. Looking at more moisture moving in Tuesday next week. Mountains, rain, snow showers Thursday, spotty showers tomorrow. Could see a few clouds over the weekend as we talked about, but then more rain and snow moving in Monday, Tuesday next week. So enjoy the break that you're going to see over the weekend uh, and for more wet weather. It's gotten to the point I yell and you don't even, you don't I, even I, I, I'm like I, your kids in the back I kind of spiked a little bit, but yeah, yeah, you don't get me. I don't get scared like the snakes uh, scare you. Yeah, right? no, one, no one listens to me anymore, even when I yell. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, Nate. 621 this morning. Let's check out our commute with Ron O'Brien.